Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege using the New World mod today. And uh, yes, this is showing off the Persian faction. We've got some new units in it and uh, some that we've not seen yet in my Persian campaign. If you've not checked that out, I recommend you do. But yeah, we're well underway in that. It's getting really exciting. And uh, yeah, there's some, still some new units that I've yet to show off, like these guys, the Immortal Spearmen. We're yet to unlock these guys, uh, but they do look amazing with their like huge shields. They've got like the Immortal Mask from like 300 there. They look amazing. And uh, yeah, they are not the only unit that have been added. We've got uh, another Immortal unit over here. We've got the Ar Artsibara Immortals. I'm not sure how you say that, but again, they've got like the Immortal Mask from uh, from. 300 but they have like got different like shields and they've they're basically only better in defense basically all their other sets are the same but they are really really good in defense so uh they are definitely going to be useful in today's battle and we've got them as a general unit and then we also have the other unit that i've decided to bring which uh well is new is the uh, lamnite swords we haven't got any of the chariots today we'll put it like that they sadly I did not bring any chariots but they would have been very excellent to bring like a bit of a sally but yeah these uh alumni again look awesome with like their chain mail over their face and just like they sort of have like the oval shields that kind of remind me like the late roman empire sort of shield but they look awesome as well and then the other unit that is not new but um i have a lot of which uh is has been showed off a bit in the campaign is the spar spara barra these guys are gonna get like bows i've got bows on the back and are eventually gonna be able to have like uh arch capability and uh, I think and fire lock with a couple of volleys, which will be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so this is a 3v3. We have the Persians obviously facing down the Amazonians. Uh, and we have the Caledons facing down the Etrurians here. And we have Atlantis over here facing the Seleucids. So it's going to be really interesting to see who's going to win this. And uh, the Etrurians are being played by the creator of this mod, Genesis. So it's going to be uh, really interesting to see how well he does. Obviously, he knows like all these units like the back of his hand, and uh, I expect him to rack up a load of kills. I mean, I think he did choose like Etruria to face the Caledons because he knew that he could just beat them. So it'll be really interesting to see whether he can do just that. But I'm gonna fast forward until well we get a bit of combat going on, because uh, well, there's no point really just sitting around. We're kind of just waiting for uh, these units to just arrive and get inside. I mean, the Amazonians are near, uh, just about to knock down the walls. Looks like, yep, yeah, there they go. Looks like they've got plenty of units. Like they've got a lot of armored infantry. They're going to be the first in. They've got legionnaires as well, which is more elite than the armored infantry. Uh, it looks like the Seleucids have also broken in over here. And uh, they are basically ready to fight. I mean, they've also now got militia hoplites, which are, uh, I mean, already been destroyed. But they are a medium spear infantry instead of heavy spear. So it'll be interesting to see um, them in combat, I guess. But, I mean, they're only just there to push up the... Push up the uh, sort of tortoise, I guess. They're not really going to be doing a lot in combat, I imagine. Probably going to be doing a lot of dying. Uh, because, well, that's what militia combat... Well, militia hotplates do in combat, really. They just do, do a lot of dying. And the Amazonian infantry is now in. Uh, so, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with them. I think they're just going to set up Capture's Tower and then go from there. We've also got some Persian hotplates defending here. They're just like... Them and the hillmen are just here for like extra units. They're just so cheap in comparison to the rest of the Persian Empire and their uh, units that they have. But I can't wait to let more units get added. They've got a lot of cavalry on the way. I think they could do with a couple more swords. Uh, not Yeah, maybe sword units. Maybe another elite unit, like even more elite than the Alam Knights. Maybe like a Persian Immortals with swords. It would be quite cool. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think they could do with maybe one more. Um, and obviously, if they have like all their slave infantry added as well, I mean, they're going to be cheap. Uh... But they could have them all added, and then that would be really cool as well. Like having their roster. They are in the uh, campaign, but they're yet to be in the... I'm pretty sure they're yet to be in the like multiplayer like roster. I could be wrong, and I just was being blind. But uh, I don't know. They may or may not be there. We will have to see. But I mean, it looks like uh, there's going to set over a lot of troops now to support on this flank. Because we realised that these uh, choke points here weren't really defended. And we still actually left this one undefended, so the Caledons can come down here and do a lot of damage if needs be. Uh, but on this side, I mean, it looks like, well, they're just standing off waiting. It looks like the Atlanteans are just going to hold in this sort of square here and just cut down anything that comes through. And they're holding a really long line. They've got stuff all the way over here waiting. Could be an intro. I mean, 
spreading the line so thin could be a bad idea, but it could, could work if they could flank and stuff like that. But it looks like the Amazons are going to be the first to make the move. I don't know if they're actually going to attack. I'm not sure. Here they come. Marching around the little rocks. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's great to see Persia just now on the battlefield. It's just what I was just going to say, really. It's just, they've got just a great, I mean, there you go. The Amazon just throw off a load of Javis. I think they killed, like, yeah, about 20 men there. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, it's great to see the Persians now on, like, the battlefield. I actually see, like, this this empire almost doing something. These Hellmen here are actually just getting destroyed as well by Javis. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens. And there you go. I mean, there you go. Like, these guys, these poor Persian hoplites just like, oh god, well, we got ourselves into here. Murder. It's murder. And then there's uh, Amazonians over there just throwing their jabbies with their conical helmets. Look awesome. I do apologize. I'm just, some reason, I don't know, something came up all of a sudden on my desktop and just like, just made a big old noise. So I was like, right, we better just sort that out first and then we'll carry on the recording. But uh, yeah, so we're back anyway after a small delay. But uh, yeah, it's all that you've kind of, well, you didn't really miss anything. The combat here is still going on. The uh, armored infantry here is broken through the Hillman line. I mean, you can just see a lot of dead Hillman down here. This poor guy here is just like, oh, what did I like get in myself involved? I don't know what I try to say there. A load of stammering just came out. But uh, yeah, those, that poor Hillman's probably like, what did I get myself into here? But the Sparbara are next to be facing uh, the wall of Amazonians. I mean, they've got a nice shield wall forming here. And here it comes, that wall of Amazonians ready to uh, battle. And I, li I like the conical helmets that these uh, Amazonians got. It's really different. It's like a very unique sort of helmet. I can't actually think of, well, maybe like some of the Greek factions have like something similar. But it does seem very unique, and I do like the look of it. But, uh, I mean, these Amazonians should probably break through the Sparbara eventually. If not, it might take a while, because these Sparbara are quite good in uh, Shield Wall, apparently. I mean, they've already lost 10 men, though, so I mean, they might need... But we've got plenty more. We've got plenty more where they came from. And now we've got the Etruscans in here as well, or... Etruria, I should really say. I mean, yeah, there's manipulated infantry actually winning decisively against these Amazonian armored infantry, which is interesting. Because I didn't really think that the manipulator infantry was very good. But it is. <laughs> it's quite good. And they also have shields like the legionaries uh, for Amazonia. So, I mean, it'd be quite confusing if they ever fight each other. They just like. Well, I mean, it won't be because one's a load of women and one's a load of men. Oh my gosh, the Javis into the side. Okay, so there's another Amazonian armored infantry unit here that's just jabbied into the side of these guys. And look at them, they're all already dropping. And now they're going in to face some spar barrel on this side. And this is the flank they're holding. And uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to hold this, hold back all this. I'm now getting up my archers up here onto the wall. I mean, they're focusing down any of these Amazonian armored infantry here. They're still losing, luckily. Beating these Etruscan manipulator infantry very nicely. But uh, yeah, I mean, they've got Amazonian archers of their own, which is just so much more deadly and nasty. It's just a, a real hard fight. Uh, the Caledonians over here, they made it an offensive, and they are already being uh, broken as we are surrounding them with... Mi nip oh dear, manipulate infantry. For some reason, I'm struggling to say that word, but the Alamnites are doing a really good job here, holding the line. It's good to see them in action. And they're also fighting over here against some Highland swordsmen. Uh, this is a tiny unit now of Alamnite swords, but it's actually holding the line really nicely, somehow. And then here we go with more uh, Etruscans coming up as well. They're just holding the line. These manipulators, they get getting ready for the order to come through. Look at that! It looks glorious with all the sun beating down. And then in they go. Oh, in they go. Throwing as many Javis as possible. I'm sure they killed a lot of the Alam Knights as well. The thin line of them. But the Scottish are being held in place. The Scottish are indeed being held in place. I mean, they send up like tiny little forays here. And they're getting surrounded. Uh, by just... What is the Etruscan like 
machine at the moment. Uh, Genesis is doing a really good job here. And he's now going to go into this choke point here and try and contest this and try and get into the flank. And also you can see here, I think this is... I don't know where these guys came from. I think the Scatter Shadows may have come along with uh, these Oath one, And they're now attacking the choke point to the main cap point. They're already attacking our main cap point. And, uh, I mean, these Scatter Shadows are losing decisively. I mean, they're fighting Etruscan Cohort. They are not going to break through this. These guys are literally just Roman legionaries, basically. They are not being broken through. I just love the uh, color scheme. I mean, the green is really nice. The green and the yellow mixes quite nicely. But look at the bodies already for the Scatter Shadows. They have lost a lot of uh, women fighting through here. Already, like, lost 50 people. Jeez. And you can see now the Poseidon Chosen going back as well. Also being mobilized to come and deal with this uh, incident. And they're going to flank around. I think the orders were, like, these Poseidon Chosen go in this way. And these Etruscan uh, Heavy Hot Plates go in that way. I mean, just surround that unit. And now it looks like uh, the combat between the Sluices and... And Lancers is now fully underway as well. We now have Silver Shields in here against Thorax Swords. And, uh, I mean, the Thorax Swords usually, I'd say, probably are not going to win this. But I'm not sure with Atlantis. They probably got stronger Thorax Swords than, say, like, the typical, like, Rome 2 faction. I mean, they certainly look better. But they are already sending in more. They are not com confident with the amount of uh, infantry already holding this line. Like, look at that guy down there. I don't know if you can see, but he's got, like, a cool face mask going on. It reminds me a bit of Gladiator, almost. But, I mean, yeah, these... Uh, actually, they were losing decisively, yeah. But now, I mean, there's more troops going in. We've got Thorax Swords here going against more Thorax Swords. I'm going to say that the Atlanteans should win that fight. Look at this. Fighting amongst the columns. This looks awesome. And now the bloody grind begins around this whole area. And look, the dust is being kicked up. It looks awesome. This mod looks amazing. And we've got arrows coming in. Who's firing in ar archers? Oh, it's uh, these archer marines. They're not really uh, very elite. They're very cheap. But they should do a lot of damage. They're shooting into the backs of these guys. I mean, they've also got their own uh, Syrian archers, which I'm sure are doing a lot of damage. They need to be careful uh, to the Atlantis that they don't have theirs all sniped out. And what's this? Silver shield... Uh, Flangites, they are coming up. This is just Silver Shield Pikes already going in. And uh, they kind of just clattered in. They were a bit clumsy in getting in there. I'm going to get rid of the foliage for a bit. Yeah, there you go. The Pikes all going in. And now the Thorax for Atlantis are falling back. They don't want to stand here whilst the Pikes are in play, really. And I agree. I don't think it's a really good idea. They kind of want to fall back to these choke points here. Allow the Pikes to uh, come one side or the other. And really go for them. Like if you hold at these two choke points, that means Seleucus has got to spread out more. The pikes can't go both ways. And you can use your archers to shoot into the back of the pikes from either side. So that will be really, really useful. Uh, anyway, back on this side, you can see here, the uh, surrounding of the Oathsworn units here is complete. And it's just a matter of time till they die, really. These Oathsworn, I think, are trying to pull through. Which is uh, definitely... A uh, no-no in my eyes. Like, they should not be able to pull through this. This is a solid Etruscan line. And they are desperately trying to get to the cap point, I think, to try and get our archers that are waiting there. And, uh, yeah, they pulled through. They're trying to break these uh, Etruscan coal, but they have a no... They don't care. They're going to just cut down these Oathsworn. If they're going to keep pulling through, they're going to get keep getting cut down. And, yeah, you can see all these archers here ready and waiting. That's what the Oathsworn's going after. We have plenty of Thoros and some heavy hot plates waiting in reserve. And, uh, well, it looks like the Caledons are already seeing in their general. And, I mean, that's a, a bold play. We'll put it like that. Let's get rid of the... Uh, see all the Highland Hunters back there just firing down into this area. So, I mean, they're supporting their general really well. These Hot Plights have just got no chance against this Oathsworn. Currently with all those archers back there. Jeez, that's a nasty volley. And yeah, I mean, I don't know where the king is for the Caledons or the general for the Caledons, but he's uh, 
He's doing just fine. I mean, there's also a fair few men, though. These are Thoros might want to go in and just engage. But they are really, like, I mean, this is really poor from the Caledons. It's just got a lot of men piled up in this small area. And you could be flanking around, like, a lot of these Oaths one aren't doing anything. A lot of them are looking the wrong way. Because so I think they're fighting in this fight here against the Etruscan Heavy Hot Plights. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting a bit dicey, I won't lie. I mean, I'm having a really hard time against the, uh, Amazons. We're finally, like, grinding some of these units down, and we're pushing forward here. Look at this, the Sparbarra pushing forward. We just don't even care about that small unit. We're going forward into the next one. Apparently, like, ma like mass unit, like, pushing forward is, like, a lot more damaging in this mod than it is in, say, like, vanilla. So the Sparbarra and, like, Shield Wall pushing forward, they'll get quite a few kills. They'll certainly get an increased amount of kills, and you gain a lot of ground. So, I mean, that's exactly what I was like, right, we're doing that then. And I sent in like three units to Sparbarra and they're going to hold the line here. And these Sparbarra here just killing off the armored infantry that got in behind. But having a really rough time on this side. This one, this side, this flank over here is a lot harder to hold right now. More fresh armored infantry being sent in. And I mean, already over here, we're, I mean, we're wavering. I mean, these are just my hillmen, so I mean, they're already like kind of finished. These Alamnites are still holding. They've still got 27 men. They have held the line. These goddamn absolute legends. Look at these guys. They are doing amazing. And that looks awesome. That looks just beautiful, beautiful. And uh, it looks like the Caledonian Spear Wall is about to go here. It's still holding on this side. It was holding for ages with these Caledonians. They're losing. And they, uh, like, against these Etruscan hot plates, or Etruscan cohort, I should say. And they just won't break. They just won't break. They're not even really fighting back by the looks of it. They're just hot standing here. I mean, a few of them are fighting, but only just. But it could go either way, really, here. Etruscans and, like, Caledons are really, really close. I mean, they finally, like, killed off the uh, flanking force around here. So, I mean, um, they can now free up these units here, which is really, really good. They're going to need these, like, tiny units of cohorts and the heavy hot plates there. They're going to need them to free them up. I mean, they're finally going to break through this Caledonian Spear Wall, possibly. It's wavering. It's wavering. Is it going to break? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. We will have to see. But, I mean, on this side, we're now fighting archers. That's really, really good for us. I mean, these Alamnites here are just going to chop up anything that's left. Hopefully, we can break through here. I mean, if we break through these just tiny archers, then we're into just, like, what's the remains of Caledons and can surround them. We've got Thoros Spears here. They're trying to flank around. There's uh, heavy hot plates here fighting Highland Archers. Could go really either way. Uh, at this point, Atlantis is looking like he's having the hardest fight of his uh, life, to be honest. Pikes over here causing a lot of issues. They're looking the wrong way though, and the Skions for the general is gone in and he's, uh, well, and he's just charging them in the rear. Yeah, Scions, Skions, I'm not really sure. It's probably like one or the other. I'm not really sure. But I mean, look at them. They're really pushing on into the thorax. They are really trying to get in there. And I mean, they're just going to get themselves chopped up. They're now turning around to face the Cav. And I mean, they're just getting surrounded on all sides. And that's Poseidon's chosen in there. With their javies and then their uh, their spears. Oh my gosh, it's just an absolute butcher. And yeah, those uh, silver shield pikes are gone. I mean, you can see here there's a massive infantry push going on. This is going to be the make or break for either flank here. If the uh, Atlantis force can win here, great. That's a really really big win there. But um, if because we're going to need we're going to need those forces to come and fight against Amazons. Because the Amazons are looking strong. They are, like, going to, like, blitz through the Persians eventually. But if the Seleucids win this, then they can put real pressure on uh, this choke point. They can obviously then go across and unite and fight the Persians and make it a lot easier for the Amazons. Or they can just make a strike straight for this, uh, well, obviously they can come across this bridge and make, straight, make a strike for the uh, main cap point. A straight strike. That just does not sound like... That's just a tongue twister in itself. But here we go. We've got the other phalangite here. The other 
pike unit getting ready and it's going to get caught out here by it looks like Poseidon's chosen they're not going to be able to set up in time or oh, they shouldn't be able to set up in time they had lich they were literally on their tails no they're going to fall back they should have a lot they should have got those pikes they could have got those pikes if they set up more jabbies and throw at them that's really good and um, the balance power has gone in favor of the defenders but I would say that's just due to numbers. I'd say quality is still with the uh, attackers. Like the Amazonians here. Still really, really good. And uh, you can see here, these Spartan Pirates are just getting absolutely, like, annihilated. They've been surrounded here by the Amazons. And they are... Well, this defense is gone, really. This choke point here is uh, finished. It is finished. For the Shah, we must stand. I mean, they're still holding here, the Spar Barra, but they're going to get surrounded. Look at all the Persian dead. This is mainly Persian dead. I mean, there's quite a few Amazons here, and there's Etruscans here as well. But this is uh, one bloody mess. And that's a glorious stand there. Beautiful. And here comes the next lot, is Legionaries coming up. We're now onto the next tier of, like, elite units going in. And these Legionaries will do a good, stern job. They'll probably break through these uh, Sparbara and Nutter. I mean, they're flanking round already. And now they just find some uh, Persian elite archers of mine that are just just there for the jokes. Uh, I mean, there's they just don't have any ammo. So they're getting shot by Amazonian archers, which is really good. And now they're uh, just getting killed by some armored infantry. And now my archers are now shooting at everything on this wall. This Amazonian legionary unit here, trying to, hold, uh, trying to take the walls off the Alamnites. I decided, well, I'm going to shoot those... Uh, legionaries, and I mean this is going to be a bloody choke point on this, on this wall. Be interesting to see. I mean, all that the uh, Amazonians need to do, and I mean I can see them doing it now, is get archers up here. Because, I mean, we're about, they're about to break through these spar barrels, so they just need to set up here and then just do the same to the Alamnites. And they can just do the same damage. I mean, my Alamnites here as well are just about to get jabbed to death by Amazonians. Here we go. I mean, I'm sure this is, yeah, these Legionnaires. Going to get some jabbies out in a moment. And they're going to then jabby just point blank into the side of these guys. And that's really good plays by the uh, Amazonian player if he's going to do that. I mean, I can't see any jabbies actually getting out just yet. Maybe it takes a little while to set them up. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, these archers here, again, just firing into the flank. And these, uh, they've lost, like, the majority of their unit. These Alamnites are also uh, nearly finished. Well, they're not nearly finished. They're uh, very fresh. And look, they've nearly finished off this uh, Amazonian unit. And I think in goes the infantry. They're not going to wait for Javis. They're just going to go straight in. So here we go. We're on to the next line of defense. Here, held by Alamnite swords against... Legionaries of the Amazons. Who will win? I don't know. It could be quite close. Some of these Amazonian units are pretty defeated. I mean, that's a fresh legionary. So I'm going to say that they might do just fine. And the Alamnites have turned to face them, so that's not good. Especially when they could get charged in the flank now. I mean, look at the amount of dead bodies here for the uh, Amazons. They've got so many dead to archers. I mean, it's going to be the same now with the Alamnites. They're not getting focused down in the side. It's just who's going to break, who's got the most archers, and right now I'm going to say the Amazons have more, but it's already a little bit too late to try and save that legionary force. I'm going to just have to try and save my Alam Knights. It's going to be really tough. And there you go, it's gone. The Alam Knights now need to fall back and get back over to this side. Move, move, you're going the wrong way. You don't need to cut more down on these legionnaires. Run for the hills. And it looks like Immortals already been sent. I already sent some Immortals over here because uh, this cavalry, there's a game of cavalry uh, pulled through over here. And it's now causing havoc in, in behind. Uh, which is a real shame that it pulled through. But the game of cavalry is now like getting dealt with, I would say. It was slowly getting dealt with by the Persian, not the Persian, the Poseidon's chosen. Um, I'm not, oh, the majority of the units got out though. And I think it's trying to chase down the uh, Skions here. I mean, if the Skions just engage, I think they're a better unit take on those again with Cav, then it means the Spears can just catch up and do the damage and kill them. And now the Etruscans are over here as well. The Etruscans are literally everywhere putting out fires right now. 
They're throwing like a load of Javis in to just about anything that comes down here. What was this? There's a silver shield as well. Yeah, I mean, they don't really need to carry on throwing Javis. They're probably killing more Poseidon's Chosen than they are killing uh, Thurios now. And it's just really archers left. I mean, there's a, uh, there's a uh, Ballista crew, actually. This is huge. They have a Ballista still to the uh, Seleucids. What could this fire at? I mean, you can just fire anything in front of it here. It's just a mess of... Uh, uh, well, actually, there's quite a lot of Seleucids still in there. They need to be careful. And their general's going in? I want to say this is the general, yeah. The general unit is here. You need to cut him down. And there you go, the Immortals are in there, and they're going to cut down a few of these guys. I mean, I don't think they'll get many. Yeah. I mean, look at that. He just kind of avoided it. I mean, he did sort of pull through them. I mean, though, again, at the same time, it was not a well-defended choke point. So, I mean, I don't really know whether he pulled through or not there. But it does look like now that uh, the Poseidon... Well, he won't want to call them Poseidon, but they are Poseidon's armies. Atlantis here is probably going to win this fight. Especially with now the support of Persia and Etruria. I mean, all there is left is really archers, one unit of swords, and some cav. Uh, which can't do much damage. So, I mean, we'll see what happens there. I mean, Caledons are basically finished as well. Their general is dead. They have a tiny unit of spear wall here. Which is still holding somehow. And uh, that's kind of really it. Oh, look at this. Atlantis' general is under attack. He's under attack from uh, the Agema Cav here. Is this going to kill the Skions off? I don't know. It looked like they were losing decisively to the Agema Cav. They do look awesome, though. Just like a, it's like a whole unit just full of... Uh, full of Aurelians. It's kind of funny. Um, but I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Atlantis general is still alive, like hovering over. It's like still saying eager, etc. So I mean, he's clearly still alive. And look at this. I mean, this is a game of cabs, and I'm just going to charge. Well, head on towards some Etruscans and just die. And uh, I think yeah, well, there's a tiny unit of Thoros over here as well. I might want to go and get engaged. And that's kind of it. That's all I can see. Looks like the other gen, like um, Seleucid's general, is dead. I'm not really sure what else is really going on. I mean, these. It's kind of it. It's down to the Amazons now, really. It is down to the Amazons to win this. I mean, they're still breaking Spar Barrett. I mean, they still could do it. They still got a lot of rest units, uh, including, like, elite infantry. They. Uh... It's going to be interesting. I don't think the Persians have the strength to stop them, but they're just really good at holding the line, which is kind of what I had purposed the entire battle, was just hold the line. And let everyone else win their fights, which I've allowed to do. Like the Seleucids got beaten, and now we've seen the uh, Caledons also beaten. So it is just down to beating the uh, Amazons now. I mean, it can allow the more elite armies of Atlantis and Etruria to come over here and do the damage. Really, that's all there is left to really like to fight. And I mean, you can see the choke point here is going on like heavily. And the reason we're fighting for this uh, like bit of wall up here so much is because we wanted to get off the wall here and come down and do a lot of work. And you can see here, the fight is going on hard, pushing back the Amazonian Armoured Infantry. This is one f like bloody fight. This mod just looks amazing. Look at, look at that. There's an Amazonian person back there just killing some poor Persian. And there you go. I mean, it looks like the Amazons are falling back there. Sending up some more Legionnaires now. There's still quite a bit of time left in this uh, replay. So, I mean, hopefully you've got your snacks and your drinks. Because, I mean, we're not finished here. These Alamnites are now going to be in combat. They're going to do a good job against these uh, Legionnaires, you hope. But it's literally archers holding back this flank here. I mean, I'm now sending up my general. My general is going into combat. And he's going to go and help his fern friends that are in these, like, these Persian, like, elite archers. Look at that. That's a bit of a push through there, though, by the, uh, 
Legionnaires trying to get to uh, the general here. I mean, that's not gonna not gonna help them. And look at all these spears just like poking away at the uh, Legionnaires of Amazonia. And these Astabara immortals should probably hold quite for quite a while. Though you can see here, units breaking. There's a bit of pressure over here from these Amazonian legionnaires pressuring these two units and it's breaking my Alamnites and I'm having to fall back now my Astabari Immortals. I don't really want them staying there and it's going to be these Etruscan cohort that are going to hold the line. And uh, here comes the Etruscan army. It is ready. It's ready to set up. It's got plenty of archers. I've basically got nothing left. I've got like an Alamnite sword over here just chilling. They've deserved a bit of a rest. They've like, they've got a lot of kills I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 231. They deserve a little bit of a rest. And uh, what we've got here, we've got Persian uh, elite, well, elite spears, yeah, just immortals. We could just call them immortals, Pope, because that's what they are. Look at them with their funny little hats and their masks. They actually might win this fight, I'm not sure. There's more of them, but uh, I'm not sure. These uh, Amazonian legionnaires seem to just chop through anything currently. Certainly anything Persian. And there goes my Sparbara. I think the Sparbara, they've got bows that she equips them, but I think they are planned. They don't actually throw any, or throw any missiles or fire any missiles yet. I think the plan is to give them a few volleys of uh, archer ammo, and I'm really glad that they're going to get that because uh, I think they need it. Certainly for fighting factions like the Amazons. If, they went, if I was fighting 1v1 right now against the uh, Amazons, I would have lost because there's just no way I could beat them with the units I have. Unless um, maybe I spammed out maybe more Alam Knights, I might have done okay. They would seem to be doing a good job against like the armored infantry. But uh, certainly that Spar Barra having like a few shots just to weaken units before they go into combat. I think that certainly against like the uh, the Amazon factions that would be really really good. But the big shields here are the Immortals holding back. The Legionnaires, I mean, does it like, yeah, they're winning decisively. See, the Immortal Spears, they cost like so much more and they are losing. Oh, a bit of lag and I don't know why exactly, but uh, I do apologize. But yeah, over here, I mean, these uh, Etruscan cohort are nearly dead actually. There's only 64 of them holding back, well, Nearly double their amount in uh, Legionnaires, so we'll have to see what happens there. And uh, now it looks like the Etruscan uh, archers are now just going to focus down the Amazonians here and do a fair amount of damage to uh, their archers force, which is really, really good because this is what we were mainly worried about was our archers that were left. So the archers are being focused down by the Amazonians, and uh, yeah, we did have a little bit of a crash. The uh, replay was just starting to bug out. I don't know what exactly was going wrong, but yeah, so the archers for Amazonia are being focused down, so uh, they are going to be dealt with finally. I mean, I think they've still got ammo. Yeah, they still got their bows out, so that's really big that they are breaking. That's excellent, and uh, it looks like they're sending forward some, arch some more archers. This is a could be a bad move. These guys, these guys have got bows out as well. So you want to shoot these guys as much as possible. I mean, I keep calling the guys. They are, they are women of Amazon, not men. It's kind of hard to tell who's fighting who here because I mean the manipulators kind of look very similar to the uh, legionnaires, but it looks like uh, well, I'm the cohort, but it looks like uh, the Etruscans still holding this line ever so slightly. Still giving ground though for some reason. They need to send in some more infantry. Here comes some more Etruscan cohort. They're going to probably smash through here. That will do a lot of damage. And there is another unit coming up onto the wall. We've got some Amazonian legionnaires here. They're going to try and threaten. So if they can get on the walls here, they can capture this gate. And they can send them also through the gate, which can undo this defense here. Or they can go for this, uh, like this... Uh, I don't know what we say, like, bit off the wall here, and there's another one here, so they can then just, again, get around. Looks like we've got Immortals now engaged, we've got a Etruscan Cohort. It'd be really interesting to see who wins that 
grind fest. And I mean, the uh, Immortals here still getting pushed back. They are having a really tough time. It is a. Uh, these guys are literally supposed to be immortal, and they they just they can't survive. It would seem. But it looks like uh, these Poseidon's chosen now marching up desperate to get over here. Looks like the general is also going over there for Persia. Just to try and strengthen that line, because otherwise, all of this like death over here for, by the Persians will be for nothing. You just got to keep holding this line as long as possible. But I mean, what is going on here? I mean, these are Amazon Legionnaires. Here they go. They're going to go around the corner. Are they going to stop and throw Javi down? Because if they throw Javi down, that could be really dangerous for the defenders here. I mean, it looks like they're really trying to push hard here. And the, and the Immortals are carrying forward. Going into the front line, they need to. And there they go. They're in combat. If the uh, archers here for the Etruscans just start firing up onto the wall, they could do a lot of damage to these Amazonian Legionnaires as well. I'd like to see them fire up there. They get some nice kills. Here come the uh, Immortals. They're pushing forward. Surely we're going to beat these Legionnaires. They are, they're like destroyed. There's like nothing left of them. I mean, these Amazonian Legionnaires are already getting shot by the tower over here, the Rapid Fire Tower. And there go the, uh, the Immortal Spears, they're about to break. Now sending in the Poseidon's Chosen. Oh no, they returned, the Immortals returned, excellent. They won't die just yet. We're going to need more uh, Poseidon's Chosen over us very soon. And now they're focusing down the Poseidon's Chosen with the Amazonian Archers. Now they're sending up. What are they sending up? They're sending up some uh, Etruscan heavy hoplites. And it looks like, oh, well, there you go, a mass break over here by the Amazonian Legionnaires. That is really big. Gonna finally break through. Just look at the blood splatter on these troops, though. I mean, they're not even really fighting each other. They're too exhausted not to fight each other. They're just holding line. Holding the line, really. I mean, these uh, mortals have got in behind after this unit broke at the top. They're kind of surrounded. And they're kind of going to just take out these last few. And then it's kind of just on to, well, whatever. And this replay is definitely ever so slightly corrupted, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, Ice definitely sent troops up here first before the Etruscans arrived. And I'm pretty sure this unit was annihilated by archers. So, uh, yeah, I can see why there's been a few crashes and there's been a bit of corruption. But it's still really good to look at. And uh, I'm glad that we can see the Persians in combat for the first time, like, against other New World factions. And there you go, you can see that they're just kind of pulling through, because they realize that, like, this is corrupted here. These units should just not, should just be facing, like, off against each other. Shouldn't even be facing off against each other. Trying what, what I'm trying to say, uh, because, well, this unit shouldn't be here. It should be dead. It should be focused down. And it looks like Poseidon's uh, chosen over here, getting surrounded as well by the Amazonian Elite Infantry. That is not a good sign. I'm going to just fast forward, I think. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I mean, if a general dies for uh, the Amazons, then that is probably GG. These Legionnaires now just duking out here. I mean, they need to still... I know it's corrupted, but I mean, the archers need to start firing up here, so it's kind of just like praying that something happens to like, it goes back to normal, but uh, yeah, it's only like changed at this very last moment. Everything else was basically the same, which is really bizarre. I think the general for the uh, Atlantis died though in the actual battle, so I mean, they should really send stuff over, and these guys would have been sent over, I'm pretty sure as well, or were dead in the actual battle. So that's kind of interesting to see what's changed there, but... We'll have to see. I mean, these Poseidon's chosen have been sent forward. 86 men to fight down a whole unit of elite infantry. They've got no chance. They do have truly no chance. But here we go. It looks like, I mean, it looks like we're about to see, like, the final fall of 
I'm going to say the Amazons have probably lost this. Looking at the balance of power. I mean, they just haven't got out of here. This was their main issue. Uh, with their mistake. It was just fighting in this little corner. They should have, like, probably either joined the Cardons, like, along this wall here. Or gone around there. Like, attacked this wall. This small wall might have been a bit better to attack for them. Because, well, it's a longer wall. Um, but, yeah, they just attacked into that corner. And, uh, I mean, they nearly broke through. But I just have to hold long enough. Sacrifice my army as Persia. To just allow the Etruscans and the uh, Atlanteans to win their side. But I'm just going to fast forward now. Because it looks like what's ha ever happened with the replay is kind of just bugged it out. So it's just a real shame. But I mean it happens. Uh, I mean especially with like modded units. Uh, modded uh, battles as well is what I should say. Not units. Uh, but yeah so it looks like it is basically all over. Um, the Poseidon's chosen like ever so slightly fighting down there. Looks like the Etruscans are going to win over there against the Amazonians. And, uh, looks like the Persians are just about going to survive. They have just their immortals left. And, uh, I think we have some archers as well, possibly. Oh, no, so, yeah, some archers and some alamnites. But, yeah, it's just really the uh, immortals left. And here come the, uh, the archers of the Amazonians. This did happen. They just charged forward in the last de uh, desperate charge to try and break through. But I'm pretty sure, like, the Poseidon chosen over here... And the uh, Immortals held for a little while. But here we go. The final charge. The Immortals going to go in. And deal with these archers. And oh my gosh. They're just like throwing themselves in. And they're getting speared as they go. Jeez. And I mean this is going to rack up kills for the uh, Immortals. That'll be really nice. Nice easy kills at the end there. And uh, yeah. It looks like that is going to be the battle. I mean you can see start, stuff starting to wrap for the Amazonians. And a costly victory. Everything in the battle did chain route for the uh, the, Atlant uh, the Amazonians at the end. So that was the reason that they lost. And there you go. We can have a look at the results. I got the least amount of kills, uh, well, for my side. And second least overall, Anzac, with the Caledons getting the least uh, overall. But, I mean, my archers did okay. 131, 138 did okay. But they were getting focused down by the Amazonian archers, which is really unfortunate. My uh, Alamnite Swords did actually really well for what they cost, and I definitely would recommend bringing a lot more of them, and I will be doing myself. 190 kills, 231. My Immortal Spear Infantry did not do that great. Only 101 kills with the best one. And then my Spar, my Spar, Spar Barra getting uh, 71 kills, which I think is the best one, or 78. Um, but yeah, if they get some Archer Volleys in there, I think that would make them a lot more uh, effective to actually do some damage. Then we have... Uh, well, we have Etruria here, played by Genesis, as I said. He got so many kills. Look at the amount of kills he got. By far and away the best. Um, and his Etruscan hot plates here getting 212, 371, 275. Did excellent. His archers, Etruscan archers are awful, really. Getting 121. His Etruscan cohort getting 282 and 201. His manipulator infantry, 275. And his Thoros spears. 138 and then Aiden is Atlantis getting 99 kills with his archer marines uh, Poseidon chosen I think the best one getting 241 his general only getting 55 kills his uh, thorax swords I think the best one getting 186 and uh, his trident fanatics 107 I didn't actually see them in combat but they must have done quite well and then Anzac who's playing as the Caladons 131 kills with his general um, his archers did okay getting 101 and uh, none of his Oathsworn did, like, ex outstanding. Uh, the best one getting 89 kills. And his uh, Painted ones getting 61 kills. And then we have uh, G uh, GMU, uh, GMU, MU. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, I know it's G it's G Meme and uh, the Discord. But, uh, yeah. Uh, his He was playing as Amazons, who I was facing. And uh, he got 149 kills with his Amazonian archers. Most of them getting into the hundreds. His uh, Armored Infantry getting 170 the best one. Oh, no, 195, uh, 97, the best one. His uh, elite infantry getting 85 kills, but still had a lot of uh, lot in the tank. Look at this Amazonian legionnaire here. 343 kills, and it had so much, like, health left. And that is the best one of the bench. No one getting the 211 there, so well done. And then Joshi, the great playing as the Seleucids. 109 kills with the Gamma Cav. 138 with the Gamma Cav. Um, and then his Syrian archers getting 127. 171, excellent. His uh, pikes here getting... 143, his Silver Shield Swords getting 290, and his Thorax getting 193, and his Thoros getting 104, which is not bad. But if you guys enjoyed, uh, I 
Well, I hope you did. Then uh, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. And I do apologize about like all the, the little bits of buggy uh, stuff, but that just kind of comes with some of the replays. Uh, but yeah, hopefully in the next one we don't have that issue. But until the next New World mod I battle, I will see you guys later.